I study computer science at Boston University, particularly working with image processing, computer vision. Through my URL project, I had the opportunity this past summer to go down to Texas with Dr. Coons and several other biologists. Bats have been on this earth for at least 50 million years. These bats are coming out of a cave each night. They've done this for eons. They form these columns and they disperse out over the landscape. We're trying to understand how they move. In a broad sense, the goal of what we're trying to do on this project is to be able to track bats through 3D space using calibrated views from multiple cameras of the same scene. It's a little bit like what humans do with their eyes. So you have two eyes and you see the same thing, like I see your face from slightly different angles from my eyes. And that slight difference uh, can be used to figure out how far away you were sitting from me. So we've got three of these little guys that we're going to set up. These are very high resolution cameras uh, that capture at 60 frames a second. We're going to have them all kind of facing towards where the mouth of the cave is. So these guys are all going to be capturing at the same time. We'll be able to take the footage from all three of them and figure out where, uh, where all the bats are in 3D space. One of our grants is funded by the Office of Naval Research. And this is a, a project that is really driven by engineering questions. Engineers are interested in determining how we can collect biological data to inspire them to develop a new generation of unmanned aircraft. Even the fastest fighter pilots could never hope to fly the aggressive profiles that uh, bats do. Bats will fly in a swarm with two million other bats. If we can understand the rules that the bats follow, then we can understand how to develop autonomous vehicles that are able to quickly and agilely negotiate uh, cluttered terrain. You can only do these things if you actually know what the bats are doing in three-dimensional space. In order to do that, we have to develop software that learns the 3D spatial geometry of a scene based on relationships between where certain objects appear in one camera versus where they appear in a second camera, which involves taking a, a wand and having a person waving this wand so it's visible in multiple different locations from all the different viewpoints. Can you take a look at the feeds and just kind of tell me where I'm pointed here? Once we had all the cameras set up and the calibration procedure run, then bats would start emerging. We would be recording all the video of the bats. up with using Gordon's code is 3D reconstructed flight paths of bats. From the biologist's perspective, they see this data and they say, you know, this is a great opportunity to learn more about how these bats are flying. For the engineers, we're providing analysis of how bats are flying to then think about aircraft that is bio-inspired. This is just simply something that one single domain of science could never accomplish. Most of the questions we ask are driven by work done in the field. We can sit in the lab and dream up all kinds of things, and we do. We dream up hypotheses, we dream up different experiments, but when you actually get in the field, it's quite different. This type of field work is unusual for us computer scientists. Most of the time, I'm sitting in a lab writing code, looking at uh, black text on a white screen. Look at all the stuff around you. I mean, computers are involved in everything you're doing here, and it's great to see how we're using the technology outside of just a lab environment to do cool things and to apply it to other fields. By marrying these disciplines, new ideas emerge. <laughs>